Okay, ladies, we are getting real here. Like real, like as real as the fact that I almost just sat in a glue stick and got glue on my butt making this video. Um, I have gained, this is actually a really hard topic for me to talk about, but I have gained almost 70 pounds in these first seven months of my pregnancy. And it's something that I've been really embarrassed by and felt, I don't know, really frustrated by. I cry a lot about it. <laughs> And I decided finally that instead of trying to hide it, I'm just going to talk about it. Because, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about the highlights of our life, the good parts, all the parts that are put together and fixed. And I don't think we spend enough time just sitting with like, sometimes life is really hard. And for me, when I hear another mom talk about the things that are hard or another woman talk about the things she struggles with with body image, it actually encourages me to know that I'm not alone. For those of you who know my story and my history and have read my books, I, you know that I've struggled with an eating disorder. And so weight gain of any kind, especially the kind that I feel like I cannot control, is really hard for me. I have worked so hard to love my body and now it's like, everything's different, you know, like you work so hard to like accept yourself and then you're like, oh, and now myself is totally different. And now I have to go through that process all over again. And I remember even like when I went through a season of binge eating while recovering from my eating disorder, I would eat literally three times what I eat right now. And it was mostly like empty carbs and sugar. I ate so much ice cream and so much dessert back then. And I still weighed 60 pounds less than I do now. And it's so frustrating to be like, I'm eating the right way. I'm moving, I'm chasing my toddler around the house. And my midwife just telling me like, there's nothing you can do. Like, this is just how your body's responding. You can't change that, you can't control that. And that is like so hard for a control freak slash type A person like me. And if you're looking for redemption in this video, there will be some at the end. I have a couple of things God is teaching me through this that I'm gonna share. But I also just kind of wanna sit with this for a minute. Like, as Christians, we're so quick to be like, let's get to the good part and like, Jesus fixed everything and it's all fine. You know what, it is okay to sit with stuff like this and be like, this sucks. <laughs> like, honestly, I hate being pregnant, guys. I hate it so much. And don't get me wrong, like I love this baby so much and I know she's worth it and I can't wait to meet her. And I love the fact that I don't get cold in the winter anymore because I'm pregnant. But the whole pregnancy experience has been awful. From the first trimester of vomiting five times a day, a lot of days, and being stuck on the couch, not able to move because I was sick as a dog, to like, I was in the hospital the entire day yesterday getting all these tests done because my heart rate won't stop racing. My resting heart rate was like 120 yesterday morning. It's supposed to be like 60 in your normal life and I think like 80 in pregnancy. Um, yeah, so it was high and I like almost passed out and I couldn't catch my breath and this has been happening for weeks. Like it's not COVID, this has been like going on for two months and my doctor's been wondering if I should go to a cardiologist. Just every day of my life, I am utterly exhausted. It is so hard to get anything done, let alone chase around my adorable two-year-old. And then to make everything just a thousand times worse, I have gained 70 pounds. <laughs> Things that you're supposed to gain 35 pounds. Okay, first, can I just say like numbers are like a lie. They're so stupid. Like everybody's body is different. You don't know how your body will respond to pregnancy. So why am I telling you all this? I don't even know. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? What God has been teaching me through this is three things. Um, number one is that I'm not as in control as I like to think I am. I don't know, for someone like me, it's like, if I just do all the right things, if I just work hard enough, I can make my life go the way I want, you know, from like my body to my job to my walk with God. And I just need these reminders that like, Tiffany, you're not as in control as you think. The second thing that I'm remembering again is something that God brings to mind every time I go through a hard season, which is look for treasure in darkness. I feel like every time I go through this really hard, really dark season, it's like, there's a treasure hunt in the midst of the darkness and not trying to act like, oh, well, it's all great. And like, oh, you went through this horrible abuse. Well, go on a treasure hunt. I'm not trying to belittle things that we go through or to say that your, your pain is gonna look the same as my pain. But I know in my own life for a lot of the hard times I've gone through, I find these treasures along the way and they don't even look like treasures at first. They look like stones, like, no big deal. Like it was, if you've read Hind's Feet on High Places, she like finds all these little stones along her journey. And at the end, they turn into jewels. And that's 
kind of how I feel. It's like these little things I don't even know are treasures until later. And then it's like, wow, I've learned so much, even just learning so much about myself or about God. And so I'm just once again, trying to look for the little stones that will eventually become jewels along this journey, even though the journey itself is extremely not fun right now. And then the third thing is once again, each time I go through a hard season, I feel like God is just reminding me like you comfort others with the comfort that you have received. That's a verse in the Bible. And it's like this idea that we've been given comfort as we've walked through these hard times and then we can share that comfort with others. So if you have a story from your own life that you wanna share in the comments of your own personal suffering, whether that's something you're working through right now or that you've been through in the past, I'd love to hear from you. I love you ladies. Thanks for listening to my rant. Bye guys, see you next week.